SNES RGB component mod. I just copied dude online and I actually stole these out of a old TV I had. Wired up the grounds all together, ran one ground to there on the ground plate. And my red to one pin, my blue to 24 pin, and my green to 23 pin on the SENC video encoder. This was the one I got for free. As you can see, it had some corrosion damage. I cleaned that up all real good. Everything works. As you can see, it doesn't have that capacitor, so I uh, sent Game Tech US a email and was like, hey, so is this supposed to be in here because I cleaned it up and everything works fine. He said, no, it was never installed, so go right ahead. So I was going to do the easy easy RGB mod. Like I said, I just copied uh, Yakuza. Did what, exactly what he did. And like I said, I stole these ports out of a old TV that I had. Just desoldered them from the board and soldered everything to it. Yes, my solder job on that is horrible, but I do have to say the solder job on the chip isn't that bad for what I'm working with. Just a regular old Walmart soldering iron. Nothing expensive. Nothing really hard to do. It took me about an hour. And then I really spent most of my time on the green. Trying not to bridge it over to the next pin and trying not to put too much solder on it because it was going to bridge over every time. But yep, that's my... Focus. That's my RGB component mod on my SNES version GPM 2.